this is Mike here, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about the knots that you should use when you're bass fishing, and there's five that you need to know, okay? So here we go. All right, the first one we have is uh, two, there's two line-to-line -line connections that you need to know. The fisherman's knot and this thing, I think it's a bimini twist, but I'm not exactly sure. All I know is that it works. All right, it starts off. Take your fluorocarbon, take your braid. Power Pro braid, Seaguar fluorocarbon. Best combination, okay? Fisherman's knot. Make three loops with the tag end of the line, about six inches, okay? One. Two. Three. All right. Put the tag in through those three loops you just made, okay? Pull it tight. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side with the fluorocarbon over top of the braid. One, two, three. All right, and then send it through. Pull tight. All right, there you go. Now you have two knots. Pull them together. There you go. Fairly strong knot, but uh, overall it is the weakest part of your line when you're using a uh, leader. Okay, I use a leader when I'm fishing super clear water, and a uh, leader uh, poundage depends on like what I'm throwing. So if I'm going to be throwing like a finesse jig, I'll use 20 pound fluorocarbon. If I'm going to be flipping docks and structure and stuff, I'll be I'll use. Uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon if I'm just throwing it on rocks or along weed edges and then um, for a jig and then if I'm gonna be throwing uh, like finesse plastics I'll go from 12 to 8 okay and then the, the weight of the uh, the braid will also decrease as the finesse increases okay anyway so that is the first knot next knot I'm gonna use is I think it's like a bimini twist like I said earlier Okay, just go ahead and cut this off here. If you don't have a good pair of pliers that has cutters on it, they can cut braid well. Uh, I would recommend going to Cabela's and buying a pair for like 20 bucks. I think these are P-line. Yeah, this is a P-line uh, plier combo. It's got the sheath, the lanyard, and the pliers themselves. All right, very nice. I like them a lot. Anyway. Next one. So this one you take your line and you make a bigger loop, okay? Big loop over top of the uh, main line here, okay? And then you just wrap the tag through the uh, line, through this loop, about five or six times. As many times as you see fit. Okay, and then you pull it tight. Okay, that slides down nice. It's really small. I, I like that a lot about this knot. Anyway, so and then you do the same thing for the next side. Okay, make your loop. All right, and send it through six times. Shh, oh. It might not be six times because this is 20 pound fluorocarbon and it's not going to cooperate with me. So I'm just going to do four. Okay. So then you have your two knots. Same thing with the uh, fisherman's knot. You just pull tight. Bring them together. All right. So there it is right there. And this one I think is stronger than the fisherman's knot. Um, but I'm not sure which one's faster. They're, uh, they take an equal amount of time to tie. But they're both really, really good knots. And they're both pretty low profile. This one's smaller profile than the Fisherman's Knot, though. So if you want to, tie the bimini. All right, so there's that one. All right, now we're going to do fluorocarbon to lure attachment. So this knot, I have two knots that I tie for fluorocarbon to uh, a lure. I'll tie a improved clinch, which most people know. And then a loop knot, which I just learned uh, these past past uh, two years ago, I think, to uh, tie stuff for saltwater fishing. All right, so this would be using so like you're going to be uh, throwing a. A 
uh, crankbait or a spinnerbait, chatterbait, something like that, something that's got a lot of movement to it, like a uh, wobble, all right, I would tie an improved clinch. Okay. And then, so basically you twist it like eight times, take the tag, send it back through where the little loop is by the connection point, okay? And then send it back through the loop you just created. Bite it. Bite the line a little bit with your mouth. Slide it down. All right? Pull the tag tight. And that's what it's supposed to look like. All right? All of the uh, wraps should be even, and there sh it shouldn't be like kind of off kilter. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that is the first fluorocarbon knot that you should know. Everyone should know that. Everyone, most people learned, like fishermen learned that was as their first knot, okay? And like someone taught it to you, like your dad or your grandfather. But for those of you who don't have fishing parents, you have me. So there's that. Okay, the next one. If you're going to be throwing like a jerk bait, soft plastic jerk bait, um, anything that's got a darting action to it, you want to tie this knot. It's called a loop knot. All right. And so what you basically do: insert the line from the bottom of the hook. Okay. Bring it up. Pinch the tag. Your left hand, and then pinch in the front of your finger the main line. Make a loop. Okay. Make a second loop. So I have two loops. Insert the second loop through the first loop, all right, and then now you have this one. Take the tag and send it through that second loop, okay? Hold it out here, grab the hook, pull tight with the main line, okay? And then tighten just a little bit with the tag. You don't want to tighten too much with the tag because if you do that, watch. All right, well, this is what it looks like first, and then I'll show you what happens if you tighten with the tag. Turn on the tag. It goes all the way down and it's no longer a loop and you don't want that, okay? So I'll redo this really quick just to, to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. Ah, throw the way. This, this one is really quick too. It's really easy to retie this one. Inch, loop, loop. Hey buddy. I'm making a video, so you might want to get out. Dude. Bastard. Bastard. I have pizza. Oh, okay. He has pizza. Now I have to delete this video because you just said. Damn it. All right, everyone. I'm back after a very short and a very well-timed pizza break. All right. Uh, excuse my roommate's potty mouth. He promises not to swear on video anymore. Um, he's going to be uh, bleeped out a little bit in that uh, segment you just saw. So, anyway, um, Palomar Knot is the next knot that I'm going to go over. This is a braid to hook, braid to jig, or braid to frog connection. Okay, so I'll show you. Here it is. Okay, so you take the line, you send it through the bottom of the hook. Okay, through the eye. Take it and send it back through the same direction. Okay, so now the hook is sitting on there just like this. Okay. Then, take the loop side and make a knot, like I said, okay? <coughs> Just like that, pull tight, okay? Take the hook, swing it back through the loop, okay? And then you can pull either the tag or the main line tight. That was off the video, I'm so sorry. Pull it down. Tight, just like that, all right? Get a little tug on the tag. There we go. All right, and that's the Palomar. It's probably the strongest knot in fishing, all right, because you have the line going through the eye of the hook twice, okay? So anyway, and a, a recap, I use this for when I'm throwing frogs, uh, jigs and um, other stuff when I'm throwing up in heavy cover and uh, also Texas rigs okay so and that's only when I'm using a straight braid connection I don't have fluorocarbon leader if I have a fluorocarbon leader I'll normally tie it and improve clinch 
okay? It's uh, just kind of, I don't know. I feel like the improved clinch holds a lot better with uh, monofilament and fluorocarbon, whereas the Palomar uh, holds better with braid, okay? So, anyway. Um, and that's that. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show my video to someone else, and uh, just have a great night. And uh, remember, as always, go Bucks.